I am honored to be here. Uh, I am the commander of Crete uh, American Legion Post 1291. Uh, so today I uh, decided to talk on patriotism. Uh, if you look it up, patriotism means the love and devotion to one's country. Uh, and I, I grew up kind of in a military family. And my dad was in uh, World War II in the United States Army. Uh, he served in Africa and in Europe. Uh, my mom was in the United States Navy. So uh, we, uh, there were seven children in our family and we had a pretty strict upbringing uh, because of that. Uh, but, they real, but the thing I'm blessed with is that over the years, I've, I didn't realize it maybe right away, but over time, I realized that my parents were encouraging us or instructing us about patriotism. My dad always would uh, post a flag by the house, and you know, and we'd always he'd always tell us about having respect for it and things like that. And uh, as we got older, uh, they they said we encourage us to uh, join the Boy Scouts, and you should learn to do things that are something that might be significant to our country. And maybe when I was really young, I couldn't always understand it, but as years went on it started to sink in a little bit. And then I started to realize that, yes, we need to have respect for one another and enjoy what this country has given us. Now, when I decided to go to college, uh, Vietnam was going on and I saw some of my friends being drafted and I'm thinking like, well, uh, I'm going to college. And they said, well, you don't have to go because you're going full time to college. And I go, okay, but that, that seemed like uh, I'm getting kind of cut out of this. and. Uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but anyway, I said, but then once I do, went to college, I wasn't really sure what I wanted. I thought I was, knew what I wanted to do, but I, after I got there, I said, oh, this is, this is kind of crazy. I'm not sure if I really want to do this. So I got around trying to figure things out and stuff like this. And I said, no, I don't, I, I don't think I belong here. I belong someplace else. And I had to pray about it to find out what I needed to do. And I said, you know what, I'm going to join. United States Air Force. I need to, the, I, my country has given back so much to me and our, pan, our family didn't really have that much money. So I was able to go to college on a grant. And I said, you know, this, I got to give something back. So I joined the United States Air Force and I said, you know what, maybe I could at least serve my country. But, and then when I did join, they said, you know what, we'll, we'll send you to school and we'll give you a career. And I, Oh, that sounds like a plan. Okay, and but it was just it just happened to be at the time I enlisted in '72, but they said, well, that's just a pre-enlistment. You're not going to go in until '73 because we want you to be able to go to school and make sure we don't lose track and how things are going to go. You got to go basic training and go to school and things like that. So, so that's what. So then I actually I didn't go in until '73, but by then our troops are already being pulled out of Vietnam. So we were already instructed that you don't have to, you're not going to be going to Vietnam. You're going to be going right to school and stuff like that. So, but the only thing about it, I've, I've realized over the years and seeing people that now that's been 50 years since I've been out. Uh, it's just amazing just seeing how people are still remembering and honoring the members of the armed forces who have died because so many, so many members have given their lives in the armed forces, you know, to serve our country. And I started to realize that I'm glad that people are still patriotic, though. They'll, they'll still fly their flag. And I know we need, sometimes in some areas, I feel like we need maybe more respect. People have to really start getting back to those values. And I know it's up to the, really it's up to the parents to teach their children about how they should love and really respect our country because this is like uh, uh this is the greatest country like rick was saying this is the greatest country of the world and we should be very we are very fortunate to live here if you're living in this country i mean there's so many countries that are living under oppression and tyranny and injustice and that's and that's just really not right and we are so blessed that we, we can live in a country that is free, that we're allowed, allowed to practice whatever religion we want. We can do basically whatever we want. 
but we have to remember to respect and honor all the people that are helping making this country great. And so the people that are protecting it, that is very, very important to me because those are the people that are keeping us safe from all these other things that could happen. We don't know from day to day necessarily what bad things can happen. Other countries have seen it, you know, if they're being invaded by another country or something like that. I mean, we're, we're so blessed that we're in a country that we're, we're well protected, but we have to keep remembering that. And that's what patriotism to me is all about, that we have to keep keep that in, in our minds that when we go to work every day and when we, we go on vacations and things like that, that we are so blessed that we have such a great country to live in and we have to honor that. And we can show that by flying a flag and respecting our armed forces, respecting our police officers and firefighters that are also doing day things in our country that are keeping us safe too. So it's not just necessarily overseas. There are men and women protecting us right here in our own country, and we have to really uh, trust them and have faith that things will still work out. And uh, I just want to close uh, because today we are in remembrance of the many men and women over the years that have lost their lives to protect this country, that we have to remember to say uh, no greater gift or no love, greater love than a man can have than to lay down his life for one's neighbor. Thank you.